Hello, welcome to Easy Net Online Pre Coaching. Today I will start a new series. Already I have discussed uh, December 2004 to December 2006, almost 25 videos. Who are the new visitors? Please watch my all previous videos. Just go through this link, these links, and uh, just watch. If you have any queries, anything, you can just mail me. Today I'll start a new series. De um, December, uh, sorry, June 2007. We'll look at first question. The following deterministic finite automata recognizes. The given deterministic finite automata recognizes. Actually, this is a given, but uh, there is some confliction for a given uh, uh, question. There is no final state, but anyhow, consider as uh, uh, 92 is the final state. Initially, you are in the initial state 90 and uh, reads A and reaches to 91 and it may be reads a it is a self loop may not so it reaches it reads b so minimum string to reach 92 is a and b so minimum string then after 92 it may go back initial state for reading b and again read a b so or it may go back 91 it may read a and b so for this consideration the given finite automata reads minimum string a b and it may go back to read either a or b so uh, finite automata reads set of all strings containing a b this is one of the option but uh, he, uh, that is uh, if it is considered this one is a is the right answer but one more is there is no acceptor in the deterministic finite state automata diagram means what there is no final state so maybe none of the above so i anyhow i have explained both either a or d uh, if you get same questions like this in examination better you select a instead of d uh, because most of the time maybe this is printing mistake i think so uh, printing mis mistake it is not a uh, shown final state uh, i think 92 is the final state so uh, in this case maybe i left to you decide which one is right but um, according to me is the right, a is the right answer okay we'll go for question number uh, two depth traversal of uh, following directed graph is this is a the given graph find the depth traversal uh, depth was traversal you know actually uh, it's works on the basis of in order manner so uh, it starts from root and left traversal a p because uh, depth for search you know how it is working so it reads a b d then backtrack to b and reads e and e there is no out only one path outgoing path so it will uh, read to f and f2 there is one outgoing path that is c so uh, finally conclusion is a b d go back to b and e f c so uh, look at the options a b c uh, i think it's wrong a b d e f c b is the right answer it's a very simple question so uh, b is the right answer for um, for a given directed graph find the uh, depth per um, depth traversal technique okay we'll look at question number three the maximum number of nodes in a binary tree of the depth 10 i hope this is the standard theorem if you know the formula you can answer easily uh, if uh, n is equal to 2 raised to h plus 1 means h is the height uh, minus 1 so here uh, depth is 10 means h is 10 2 raised to 10 plus 1 2 raised to 11 minus 1 actually but here option is 2 raised to 10 minus 1 uh, so uh, here 2 raised to 10 2 raised to 10 is 1024 that is uh, uh, one more is thousand none of these so option is for looking all these options i think uh, that is none of these is the right answer because uh, we'll get answer is option is 2 raised to 11 uh, minus 1 so uh, there is no uh, right answer so none of these is the right answer for question number three look at question number four the regular expression given below describes uh, there is a given regular exp expressions a1 plus 01 raised to star 0 plus lambda 
uh, I hope you know what is this is clean star clean star means it may uh, generates um, null or n number of uh, uh, strings so it may either uh, prints either 1 or 0 1 it may be or it may be null or it may generates n number of times this is set of uh, this set here 0 plus lambda it may execute any one either 0 or lambda because our condition so for this option uh, string pattern is uh, for example it uh, uh, it uh, for example it uh, executes this part means 0 1 and uh, again it may be two times so uh, 0 and uh, this lambda may be 1 so again 0 1 1 0 means what it uh, generates just take uh, all the options um, what are the options it will generates one here zero here it may be sometime zero one again zero one two times so it may generates as there is zero and lambda means null characters at the uh, at last reads so uh, as it will be never have two consecutive zeros but it can end with one last character can be zero or lambda uh, because uh, always it ends with zero or lambda it should not end with uh, uh, one or zero one because it's it is uh, this second part is always executes either zero or lambda means what always it ends with zero it's a uh, other way to tackle this question uh, here set of all strings not containing 1 1 may contain 1 1 because here 1 is there so it is not option set of all strings not containing 0 0 it is also not uh, definite it is the wrong because it may contain 0 here set of all strings containing 0 1 may be possible answer but no but not the conclusion the set of all strings ending with zero uh, i think uh, uh, that is also not because maybe ends with the lambda so option in in selecting all these i think there is some confusions maybe d is the right answer or else c maybe you, you may consider as a c because it may end with uh, sorry all uh, looking all four options only d is the appropriate uh, for this question so i have selected d okay now look at question number five which of the following languages is regular i think looking this question is difficult but it's uh, once you solve you can easily solve here uh, first one is option a a raised to n b raised to n n takes any values means what number of a equal to number of b okay in this case here a b c d here raised to power is n power is m means what a b equal to c d definitely because uh, m is equal so d equal to b and a equal to c definitely a b equal to c d means what equal equality here a raised to n b raised to m maybe m and n are not equal so uh, maybe this a not equal to b may not uh, it's not necessarily but maybe here a raised to n c raised to n means what b raised to m it is a middle value number of a equal to number of c definitely so for looking this condition we may consider similar index of elements of sigma means what we can tackle these three options using context free languages but uh, for option a it is not possible because it is a regular language so option a is a right answer but how to tackle this one i have ex explained in detail please uh, take it's a very simple take any value of n and m and check it put n is equal to 1 and check it how many number of a's number of b's similarly here n equal to 1 m equal to m means 1 2 3 just go on substitute and find the answer definitely you'll get but here uh, uh, these three you can uh, these three languages consider as a uh, context free but this one is con uh, regular so option a is uh, right answer now look at question number two's complement of minus 100 is this is given options uh, now we'll look at uh, in detail 
here what is your 100 100 is 11 0 0 1 0 0 just uh, take it 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 similarly because you count this one 2 raised to 6 is 64 2 raised to 5 is 32 64 plus 32 is 96 96 plus 4 is 100 this is 2 raised to means bit position 2 raised to 0 bit position is 0 2 raised to 1 bit position is uh, 0 so uh, don't consider these two 2 raised to 2 is bit position is 1 means consider 4 and 5 is 0 6 is 0 only consider 5 uh, yeah. 2 raised to 6 2 raised to 5 2 raised to 6 is 64 2 raised to 5 is 32 plus 4 62 plus uh, 64 plus 32 plus 4 is 100 now once complement of 100 is because this is a, it's not a positive 100 it's a negative 100 so find uh, once complement of this one once complement means what uh, convert 0 to 1 1 to 0 just interchange uh, it one it's one's complement is 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 add ones and it's is two's complement now 1 plus 1 is 0 and carry 1 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 uh, so 1 and remaining is same so uh, now so minus 100 is 1 0 0 triple 1 0 0 where is the option is b is the right answer so very simple if it if they ask two's complement of minus of any number first find the binary of that number and find its one's complement and two's complement that is the minus of that two's complement whatever given value so i hope it's very simple if you know how to answer this one if you have any queries just mail me next we will go for which of the following expression remove hazard from i have explained in detail in question number 7 june 2006 please go through it i think uh, uh, in june of uh, first series part 1 just go through it i have explained what is hazard what is static cat is dynamic hazard and function hazard i have explained in detail uh, please go through it how to remove this one i have explained but anyhow you go through it one second uh, uh, i will go i will move to the next question How many ones are present in the binary representation uh, same question asked in previous but uh, i have explained how to solve this one don't i most of you select uh, you will use this technique 15 into 256 and 5 into 16 plus 3 means what after that you will find the whatever value and find it's it's binary it's very difficult part so uh, go one by how to solve this one uh, this is 15 into 256 what is your 256 that that is 2 raised to 8 15 is 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 1 0 2 raised to 0 now 2 raised to 3 is 8 2 raised to 2 is 4 8 plus 4 is 12 2 raised to 1 is 2 is 14 2 raised to 0 is 1 so this is 15 into 256 that is 2 raised to 8 256 5 into 16 similarly no, 16, what is your 16 2 raised to 4 is the 16 what is your 5 2 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 0 is 2 raised to 2 is 4 2 raised to 0 is 1 4 plus 1 is 5 so you got 5 now 3 is 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 0 so now just multiply this one base is same add powers uh, so 2 raised to 8 into 2 raised to 3 is 2 raised to 11 because base is same add powers this, this is mathematical induction formula just 2 raised to 11 2 2 raised to 10 2 raised to 9 2 raised to 8 you got this one while multiplying this bracket similarly multiply here 2 raised to 6 2 raised to 4 uh, then to here 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 this is the uh, complete now uh, write the bit position 11th bit position 1 10th bit position 1 9th bit position 1 8th bit position 1 but here there is no 7th bit position that is 0 so here uh, and 6th uh, bit position 1 fifth there is no 5th bit position so that is 0 and 4th bit position there is no 3rd uh, bit and 2nd bit position these two are zeros and 1st bit position 2nd bit position now count number of ones here 4 5 6 7 8 number of ones in this this question asked and repeatedly four times please concentrate it's very simple if you know if you multiply it and find it uh, you, you may get uh, in that uh, way also you may get a answer but uh, uh, it's very difficult it will take more time so please go through it. it's a very simple method uh, just go through it 
okay if you have um, if you if you get any query just uh, read it and practice it same you take some other questions and practice it so now look at question number uh, Nine. If uh, a uh, x r of b is equal to c, then there are some given options. Uh, this is only it is satisfy the condition for any values zero or ones of a b c b x r of c satisfies. Means what here? B c you put any values of zeros and ones equal to a. You will get this option. So uh, for any values of zero or one of A, B, C, B, X or C satisfies the condition. So option B is the right answer. Okay. Now look at question number ten. What is the maximum counting speed of four-bit binary counter, which is composed of flip-flop with a propagation delay of 25 nanoseconds? This one uh, means what? Four bit and uh, propagation delay is 25 nanoseconds. So uh, answer is uh, delay is 25 into 4. That is definitely 100 nanoseconds. So that one is converted as a hertz. This is 10 megahertz of frequency. This is the count. This is counting speed means counter speed. Now what is the maximum counting speed? Is 100 ms. Mega hertz of frequency. Okay, so this is option is B is the right answer. Okay, I hope uh, you enjoyed this lecture series. Please share and subscribe the channel. If you uh, please uh, inform your friends. Uh, thanks for watching.